For anybody who owns a Tesla Model 3, you know that the charging dock is not exactly the best designed. If you have a phone without a case or a phone with a very thin case, you're in good shape. However, if you have a phone with any kind of thickness, well, then you have a problem. And I've noticed that a lot of people have that problem. There have been other solutions that I've seen that aren't quite working for me. So I thought I'd try to come up with my own solution. And my solution was to extend it out more and that will allow you to kind of pull this out a little bit more and give you more space uh, between the phone and the backing here, and that should help things out. And this has certainly helped for me. So I'm gonna show you kind of the configuration. This is still, by the way, both the original cables that came with the car. This right side here is the Android cable. And I actually have uh, an extender coming for that that's going to convert it to a lightning cable for another iPhone, which my wife uses on that side. So this is an actual kind of a lightning cable to lightning cable extender that is for, I think like iHome devices that you can buy. Uh, I got it on eBay. Unfortunately, it was a little bit more expensive than I would have liked, but I think it was like $14. But uh, this is exactly what I was looking for. So I just decided to go for it. Now it was still kind of, it was coming out when I would pull the iPhone out. So what I had to do, it doesn't look pretty, but I just took a hot glue gun to it and now it kind of keeps it in place. So that's what that configuration looks like. And you'll also notice what's kind of interesting about this extender is that you can kind of see it's, there's a little bit more on this side that allows more space uh, to get you in there with that thicker case. So this is what my setup looks like. And again, it's not pretty. I'm gonna do the same thing over here once I get that other cable that converts it from the uh, Android to the lightning cable. And it should probably maybe extend it up around the same height, maybe not quite as high, but it should still be enough. Uh, and my wife's phone is actually not as thick as mine. So uh, I'm gonna, since I'm using my phone to record this video, I'm gonna go back to my DLSR and I'm gonna show you how it works and that it does work. And um, hopefully this is something that will help you in your solution. Okay, we're back on my DLSR recording here, and here's the phone. And I don't actually have a very thick case, as you can see, but it's the wallet on the back uh, that uh, has created some problems here. So again, you can kind of see how thick that is uh, once you put that wallet on. Which, by the way, this is a great wallet, and this is the reason why I really wanted to come up with the solution, because I didn't want to part with this accessory. Uh, Distill Union is the name of the company. If you're interested, I will post um, the link on this video. And uh, again, this is just a wallet that sticks under the back of the case. Kind of cool. Anyway, that's not why we're here. Uh, we're going to hear because we want to show you how this works. So again, having it extended out like this allows you to pull this a little bit more. And you don't want to pull it too far. You want to bend it, but you kind of get the idea here. So I'm going to do show you how it works. And there you go. Showing that it is charging and it is charging and it's full capacity and it's great. Everything works just wonderfully. Now, kind of a disclaimer on this I want to talk about is the fact that this is an iPhone 10 or an iPhone X, whatever you want to call it. And because there's an extender here, there's not a lot of space between the top here and the bottom. So if you have an iPhone 7 Plus or an iPhone 8 Plus or even an iPhone 6 Plus, this solution may not work for you. There's a good chance it may not even fit uh, between here. So that may that's kind of one of the problems with this solution. But again, I don't plan on getting a bigger phone than this. So this, sh this should work out fine for me. So again, I, I'm waiting for this to come in. This is the, again, the two original cables that came with the car. So this is the Android cable and I'm waiting in the mail, waiting for in the mail that is the cable that will convert, or not the cable, but the uh, the connection that will convert it to an iPhone connection. And that was, uh, is the one that my wife will be able to use. Now, another thing I wanna talk about is driving around with this, because as you can kind of see, it kind of moves around from side to side like this, but it's actually not a problem. Uh, I was driving around on some windy roads just to kind of test it out and really trying to, to jolt it around a bit. And it, it wasn't really until it started kind of jolting around that the phone would maybe move a little bit here. But for the most part, boy, this really isn't a problem. Just driving around, it doesn't move around from side to side. So for me, this has been a great solution. I hope you found this video useful and this is something that you can do. Um, so there you have it. Thanks for watching.